Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all variations thereof, and welcome back to the Chrono Breach SMP. Today, we are back in the survival world. It has been put back to the usual, uh, and we are no longer in the creative plot building world. Um, instead, we are back to doing... That's a lot of zombies. I, I'm getting... I'm getting out of here. Uh, instead, we are going back to the Guardian Farm, because that is our main project for today. Um, now, the Guardian Farm... The world's a little bit slow on loading today. The Guardian Farm has been thoroughly excavated, um, but it still needs a lot of greebling work to be done. Um, fortunately... I have a fair amount of resources that will assist me in this project. So we have a bunch of birch here. Uh, I don't have enough glass yet, but there is some back at base that I will go grab eventually. Uh, we have some prismarine and some uh, prismarine bricks, which I will also be using in this project because this is a guardian farm, so we want to theme it correctly. Um, let me see. Uh, I would like to use some dark prismarine, but dark prismarine is a hellish thing to actually look for. Um, so we're going to hop down into this hole, and we're going to start greebling up this area. Uh, now, for those of you that don't know, um, it's, it's an easy thing to look up. But for those of you that don't know, greebling means to detail or decorate with great abandon. Um, and in this situation, what we are going to be greebling is uh, the Guardian Farm's killing chamber. Uh, I mentioned this last episode, but for those of you that haven't watched last episode, this is a good refresh. Um, okay, put that down there. Uh, first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start decorating the killing chamber, because this is this is the big thing. This is the main thing that we need to make sure is correct in this area. And then we can work our way back to the uh, rest of the area where we're going to have uh, water streams in the corners for up and down. Uh, we're going to have an enchanting area in the middle, probably. I want to say the middle, but maybe we'll put it... We'll have two enchanting areas, one on this side and one on this side. I'm not completely sure how I want to do everything. But I will be right back with a progress update with a layout of how I want this room to look. We'll see you shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have done some work. I've spent the past half an hour to an hour uh, greebling away, trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with this place. And I think I have a, a plan of, of sorts. Uh, so I've... What I've done here is I've used stripped birch logs as support beams with lanterns, uh, sea lanterns on top. I've used uh, prismarine brick stairs as an inset type thing. I'm going to put glass over this section, maybe have an aquarium under here. I'm not completely sure yet. Uh, and over here I have the down and up elevators all the way to the top. They're not complete yet. There's still a little bit of uh, stuff that I need to do. Uh, this can get covered up, actually, uh, because this is completely uh, useless now. Uh, I'll just uh, cover that over. There we go. Um, so yeah, this one is complete. Um, that one still has some work to do. Uh, in the back uh, edge of the um, of the elevator, but that's that's for later. Uh, right now, what I want to show you is the way that all of this is set up. So it's one big long room, uh, and I'm going to have uh, maybe here. I might actually take this section out and push it back into the wall and have uh, enchanting tables in these areas. Uh, I'm not completely sure yet, but I would like to have enchanting tables here because it saves me going all the way back to my base to actually 
uh, enchant things after I've done an XP grinding session. Uh, the farm is actually fairly speedy. Uh, gives me a, a decent amount of guardians. Um, but it's not as fast as I'd like it to be. Uh, there's still a lot of cave lighting and stuff that I need to do. Um, so eventually I'll, I'll finish off that and uh, we'll get some stuff done. And as you can see, there are a hell of a lot of mine shafts around here. So lighting up the caves has actually been quite a challenge. There's also quite a few underwater caves that I need to uh, rinse out as well because uh, can't have those around. They also are technically spawning spaces for drowned. So it's a, it's a little bit annoying, but we're getting there. Now, I'm going to take a quick break from the Guardian. Oh, wrong, wrong elevator. I'm going to take a quick break from the Guardian farm to uh, do something else. Now, I have been informed that there is something in my bookshop's basement. Uh, now, I don't know if this is referring to the payment chest, um, which it might be, but it's also possible that the um, that it could be some some sort of interesting little prank or something. I'm not completely sure what it is, so I'm going to go check it out. Um, if the world would ever load properly. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Back to the bookshop. Uh, nothing's changed on the inside, but apparently there's something in my basement. Um. Oh, okay. Diamonds. Diamonds work. Um, I... Take it, Zanisher has probably bought m some uh, some books. I think a mending book, yep, and a Fortune three book. Okay, fair enough. I'm slowly earning more diamonds from this shop than I am from doing any sort of mining, which, in my opinion, is is uh, it saves me a lot of trouble actually. There we go. Ooh, seven diamond blocks and 39 diamonds. That looks nice. That looks very nice indeed. Okay. Um, now, there is something that I want to talk to you guys about, because uh, with the shopping district, actually. Um, sorry about that, guys. My uh, headset decided to die on me. Uh, audio cut out. Uh, as I was saying... Uh, before my uh, my audio death, uh, I want your opinions. So I'm planning on building a totem of undying shop in the shopping district, but I don't know how I want to build it. Now I could do it in the same style that I did the uh, the bookshop in, uh, extend that out sort of over this way and build a sort of a an extension on the bookshop, like a, a small grocery store type thing. Or I could do something completely outlandish and ridiculous. Uh, maybe stick it um, somewhere over here, maybe. Uh, build like a, a miniature, or I say miniature, like a massive uh, totem of undying or a, a pillager head or something like that. Um, but I would like your feedback in the comments, uh, if you would like to do that at some point, that would be lovely. Uh, all the comments that I get are always super helpful or just funny or enjoyable to read, and they always brighten up my day. Uh, why is there a chicken here? Anyway, um, we are going to head off back to the Guardian Farm, because I want to get some more work done on that. And hopefully, by the time I get back, we shall have a fully completed guardian uh, farm room, as it were. And maybe I'll stick a portal in there as well. That might be good. Off we go! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have made progress. We've made a lot of progress, actually. Uh, so I've put in the floor, I've put in the full 
well, most of the thing for the killing chamber. I've put in the upper archways. I decided to go with archways for this area here. Uh, we have the rooms for the enchanting tables. We have the glass. We have pretty much everything that we need. Now we just sort of need to fill in the gaps, as it were. Uh, fill in the ceiling and all of that sort of thing. We've also got a portal uh, so that we can have people come by and uh, and see what we've been working on and uh, come and use the Guardian Farm. Uh, while we were doing this, I spent some time uh, cutting off Guardian heads, so we have some of those to decorate the area with, um, and that about covers it. But oh, that about covers it for today, I'm afraid. Um, I don't have much more time to do uh, anything today because I have to get this episode uploaded by tomorrow, and uploading takes a long, long time. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Your comments are always greatly appreciated. Uh, and we will see you next time for some more Chrono Breach SMP. Ta-ta for now. Bye.